Hello, 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 folks. Welcome to this tutorial. This is another interesting topic on data skills with everyone, and we are still looking at basic text processing with Python. How to handle text data with confidence? Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to touch on how to read and manipulate many text files, and it's motivated by the question that. How can I read many text files sitting in a folder on my computer? So, if you realize from my previous um, videos that I I used um, take data generation um, package in Python to generate text files. What about when you have a lot of text files sitting on your computer like this, and you want to use read these files into Python, read each one of them, and then do with them whatever you want to do how do you go about that so that's what we're going to look at how to do in today's video without wasting too much time let's dig in all right so here we are in the spider id where i like to work and so just to summarize what we're going to do we are simply going to import the os module so the os module is what gives us access to the file system all right and so let's just go ahead and import os and with os um you can see my current folder and, uh, structure that i have this folder this is where my python file is and i have this folder articles with a lot of articles about a hundred of them in it okay so um if i did os.get working directory um this os dot get good it's going to print out the location of my where i am currently standing that is where my python file is lying and this is it okay so i have another folder over there which is called um article so my data folder is uh simply os dot have the join okay i just want to construct the path to the location of my articles and so it's just going to be os to get uh, the current working directory and then another folder called article so uh, doing this would give me the path to where my articles are okay and you can inspect this to see that it's actually a valid path to a location on my computer all right the next thing is to use another function in the os module that is called os.walk and as you can rightly guess this will allow you to walk down the folder structure so i'm going to quickly take you through how this is going to work okay so i'm simply going to now when you do the os.walk and let me give you a quick rundown of what happens when you do os.walk okay so i'm going to do os.walk on my data folder just so that you see what happens okay so it's actually going to return a generator and so to see the output i'll put everything in a list so that we instantly get the output okay so uh this would still not be exactly uh, yes good so you can see that is a list of tuples let me check the length just so that you get a good understanding of what is happening okay so let me put it here okay um, this is not getting exactly what i want to show you but let me take you through the output um here all right so if you take a look at this yes it's actually a list of tuples uh this here is a first component there is this empty list and then there is uh, this other list okay so it actually consists of three items yes actually what i did i just needed to put everything in this uh, I needed to index into it like that okay so that I would be able to uh, see 
yes so this is the result that i wanted to get for you all right because it's a list and then it contains a tuple and the tuple contains three items so i expected to get these three all right so it's these three items that i'm going to find a way to loop over so let's go over the first one it's going to be like this for we have the roots we have the folders and then we have the files so this is what the os.walk function gives us it gives us access to the roots so for root folders and files in os.walk walk down our data folder okay so yes um we need to find a way to construct a path to each individual article here text file and then read it in all right so to get that result um we need to uh, now with this loop here okay we need to now go through each item in the files here okay so let's do one more loop so for file in files what do we want to do we want to open the file okay so how do we open it we can simply do with open and then we open that file but this would not be the exact thing that we need we need to construct a complete path to this file so why don't we come down here and just say that the path to this file is let's use os.path and do join okay so the join will take the root folder and then we join it to the file name so this one should give us the complete reference to this file which we can then open here okay so the rest of this line is going to be the usual file opening okay and then we are going to read this data just as we do all the time okay so one more thing to go we need to be able to collect all the data that we read in into let's say a list okay so for our particular use now what we can do is that we can append this data to a list so let's call our data um, this list here okay we just do data dot append and we append the file that we read to that okay, so if everything works out correctly we should have uh, our code working so why don't we give it a try and then run everything together and see the results that we get nice and easy we had no errors okay so now we can take a look at our data for our variable here and first of all check the length and see how many items we have 100 entries okay let's take a look at the first one awesome and so this is exactly the content of the file that we just read in and all the others follow the same exact pattern with an author and the author name here with the title which is here and then the rest of the um, file is the article body so basically this is how you would go about reading in a couple of text files for manipulation inside of python all right so that's all this video is about you can go ahead now and do whatever you want to do with what you have read in so thank you for watching and see you another time bye bye